Alrighty guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs, and hopefully my fiancé will stop talking now so that I can do my video. <laughs> um, so, Warlords of Draenor, how excited are all of you? I'm pretty excited. So for those of you who missed uh, the big announcements at BlizzCon, I'll give you the rundown. We are going back in time, kind of. So, a s spoiler alert, uh, this is going to spoil the end of Siege of Ogamar. So, Garrosh gets put through trial, and just before the verdict comes, he escapes. Oh, and I'm doing a rogue again, that'll be fun. <clears throat> he escapes, and he befriends the... Eh, what the hell, I'll keep all that. He befriends the uh, bronze drake guy who's on Timeless Isle, and who's being... meant who's being worked by somebody else, and he goes back in time to Draenor, which was Outland before it kind of shit hit the fan, essentially. And what happens is, he goes back in time, <clears throat> and he wants to go back to where, um, he wants to re reinvent the Horde and make them the Horde they should have been. And so he wants to create the Iron Horde, and he wants to go back to before the Horde drank from the blood of Manoroth, I think is what it's called, and before they got kind of cursed, essentially. So what he does is... Uh, he goes back to Draenor before it becomes Outland, before it gets all crazy and corrupted and changed. And he recruits all these different orc clans. And the Alliance and the Horde need to go through the Dark Portal back to this time and stop him from recruiting some of them. And we won't get all of them, but we'll get some of them. Um, so that's a thing. And that sounds really exciting, and I'm really looking forward to it again, honestly. I'm looking forward to this expansion. I'm, I think I'm even looking more forward, forward to it more, more forward to it. You know what I mean? Um, than I was for Miss. So that's pretty exciting. Um, what else? Oh, uh, player housing has kind of been implemented. So there's a spot in a couple, uh, not all of the different areas in Draenor, but a few of them, where you can build your own garrison and it's like a house and it's instanced and you can pick different things to build and you can't build everything but there's some buildings you can there's an infirmary there's an alchemy lab there's a stable there's a pet stable where you can do pet battling and what the hell did this rogue just do to me what weapon is this i have never seen this before nice i'm gonna get my ass kicked but what else is new and hmm okay Let's do... I don't want to waste that. So we'll do this. And we'll stop there. Um, so that's one thing I'm super excited about. Um, they're changing how raiding is working. Um, they're still going to have... Well, no, they're not having looking for raiding anymore. Everything's pretty much flexible unless heroic raiding. Unless you do heroic raiding, which is now called Mythic, and it's for 20 people. But otherwise... Or no, they're still doing looking for raids, sorry. Uh, it's late and I'm late on this video. Um, but everything's going to be flexed so that w as long as you don't lose like both your tanks or all your healers when you're doing looking for raid, um, the enemies will scale and it'll be less annoying, essentially. Which is really nice. I'm very much looking forward to that. And let's do... Yeah, okay, we'll do this. We'll do this. So, that sounds pretty good. Um, so, raiding is going to be a lot easier. It's going to be more I fleck. Um, and then, the only ones that aren't going to be flex are heroic, and that one is set at 20 man. So, I'm really looking forward to it. They kind of alter how they do raiding every expansion. This one, I'm really, really liking. I'm thinking this one makes the most sense personally, so I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, and what else is happening in this expansion? Oh, they're getting rid of some of, uh, some stats. So dodge and parry are gone for tanks, um, and hit and expertise are both gone as well, um, but they're buffing more of the tertiary stats, like lifesteal and movement speed and whatnot, so that's really exciting. And the stats on gear is now static, so when you pick up a piece, let's say for me, because you guys know I play a priest, and sometimes I play in shadow, and sometimes I play holy. So if I were to pick up a piece in shadow, the stats will be for my shadow spec. But if I were to switch to holy, the stats will switch. So that's really exciting. I am really, really happy about that. It'll make switching between um, 
specs a lot easier. You don't have to have multiple sets for gear. Um, so that's really, really exciting. Um, oh, and one of the really exciting things for people who hoard stuff like I do is uh, they're adding a storage unit area into the garrison. So if you opt to do that one, I um, hope it's looking like hopefully uh, you'll get some extra bank space and whatnot, which would be really, really nice. Do do do. Come on, rogue. And what else is happening? Um, hmm. Oh, fiance of mine, can you think of anything else that's happening in Warlords? Ah, yes, this is the first new expansion. Thank you, my lovely Saison. Uh, this is the first new expansion where there is no uh, new race or class, so we're sticking with all the old stuff. But all of the original eight races are getting uh, buffed and revamped and new animations, and I'm really, really excited about that. Okay, we are going to do this. Oh, and my phone just beeped. I totally forgot to mute it. I am so not on the ball today, but I'm hoping you guys can forgive me because it's been a really long day. And, uh, yeah, okay, why not? I'll still be alive, so that's good. Mm. What is this rogue doing? you get DC'd, maybe? Or did I get DC'd, maybe? Oh, I've been getting DC'd a lot lately. It's been really ticking me off. Getting disconnected in the middle of a dungeon run is not fun. Nope. Okay. Alright, works for me. Oh, ho, that's gonna be nice in a turn. Do that. And that. And let's do that. And we'll do that, too. Anyway, so yeah, Warlords of Draenor. It's an exciting expansion that's coming out. Should be out yeah, maybe sometime next year. Who knows? It's Blizzard. Your guess is as good as mine. Um, as for the other games, uh, their Dota map, Heroes of the Storm, I think it's called. Um, is coming out, and that's really exciting. So I don't know anything about it, but it looks cool. So that's always fun. Yay! I win. So that's fun. Well, let's do my. Yay! Oh, and I gained a money. That's exciting. Um, but yeah, so that's coming out. Um, nothing new for StarCraft was announced, and Diablo. The only big thing was that they're shutting down the auction house. Um, in March, completely, and they talked a little bit about some of the monsters in the area and moving between zones um, in the expansion. Reaper of Souls, I believe it is called. So yeah, that's it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching or doing sneak previews of whatnot. If you can, I highly recommend trying to find the lore panel, the uh, Warlords of Draenor lore. Warlords of Draenor What's Next panel. It was the lore one and Metzen was on the panel and it was really good. Talked about the storyline, how that's all going to work, but Red Shirt Guy was back. He had a very good question and the guy that followed him also had a very good question, so I highly recommend checking that one out. Um, costume ceremony was pretty unspectacular. The costumes were amazing. Uh, Jay Moore was so not on the ball this year. It was really, really weird. Um, and which was really, what was really interesting was, um, I usually find that Cat Hunter asked some pretty general questions, nothing too specific, and this year she had the big guns out and she was asking really good questions. So if you catch any of the direct TV stuff, pay attention to some of the stuff she asked, especially when she was talking to, uh, oh, who was it? Uh, it was about, it was about, wow, she was talking to, I think it was Rod Pad Doe, Rod Perdo, something like that, him, whoever he, that guy was. She asked him some really good questions when she was there with uh, Jeff, so that was really good. Anyway, hope you found this helpful and amusing, guys. You know, hey, I won one. That's pretty exciting. Like and, sub like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.